Hello and welcome to Home vs. House. I'm Lisa and this is a channel where I share budget-friendly home decor and lifestyle ideas. Guys, I am bringing you back my kitchen garden to see some updates. Today is definitely a harvest day for me with my beans um, and my peas and I thought I did do a little bit of update to this space um, that I thought I would come on and just kind of show you the idea of that. So beginning with um, these gates I did replace them so I got these three panels from Menards um, this past week and I got them because um, I have an Airedale Terrier that's a pretty um, big size dog and the gate that I had here it's a garden gate so this is one of the panels um, that I had here the shorter one it was pretty much his size and I knew eventually he would probably gain the courage to hop over it. Um, in fact, he did it one time already. And so I knew I wanted something a little bit taller and I got these three panels that fit really nicely uh, here. And um, they were like 13, um, a little bit over $13 a panel. So definitely affordable. And it does the trick of keeping, um, my dog out of this space all right so um, here are my peas and I've started picking some of them um, earlier this week and I just add them to salads um, but I have quite a few more to harvest today my kale I continue to use those I come out here and just snip a few leaves uh, for my salad my cilantro is flowering, but I've also used it here, used it um, for my cooking as well too, my basil. I use um, pretty much all of these herbs, I would say on a daily basis. In my cooking, here are some sage down here that I really like to, um, I like to use not just in my cooking uh, meal preparation, but I also use it to season my, or marinate my uh, chicken or fish. So here are my squash. Um, and I thought I planted pumpkin and squash alongside, but I saw the packet of pumpkin. So I'm getting ready to put those in the ground in a different um, area of my outside as well as some uh, winter squash these are summer squash alongside here and I see some um, they're coming up so maybe pretty soon I use some of this cilantro so these ones I use more because they have not started flowering yet um, and some dill um, I use those quite a bit as well. Um, I'm waiting on my cucumber. Um, lots of flour, but no vegetable just yet. I have been coming out here and snipping some uh, lettuce leaves for my salads um, throughout the week. So I've started harvesting that. And then over here, my beans, I harvest some earlier this week and I still have quite a few to harvest today. Um, and so that's gonna be what my plans are um, out here. I did uh, wanna show this, how my mammoth um, sunflowers are coming up really nice and tall and thick I am going to plant I'm gonna get some more seeds uh, later today and plant alongside um, the front here and then a patch over here as well they do a nice job I feel like um, adding some privacy to this space and so that was one of the main reasons other than the its beauty um, the beautiful flowers I that was the idea that I had here so I'm I'm glad to see my um, idea coming to fruition nicely I am gonna give you a peep of like my side garden so this is the west side and I just have some corn 
growing up here. Um, I down below, I don't know if you can see it, I do have some mint and the mint has kind of taken over. Um, it had been there um, previously before I moved into this home five years ago. And I'm just gonna, I each year I kind of pull it back, but this year that's where I'm gonna put my winter squash. Um, let me see, I did get a few more plants, just a few more from last video. So I got this butterfly too butterfly um bush one on this side and one on this side and here is the other area that i want to plant some uh, sunflower seeds just to add um, more privacy as i did on the top and then i have these big old trees back here that um, adds the privacy on this side all right let's see what i think there's the other new thing that um, has happened since last time is I did get some um, seat cushions. So um, I got this black and white pattern. They were from uh, Family uh, or Dollar General um, and they were half off. And so I got one for here and then I got a set for my other seating lounge area over here, just to unify the space a bit. And so again, they were discounted because summer things are going on sale and um, this is a good time to kind of plan out and grab them while they're there. Um, another reason I got this pattern is that I wanted to one, unify the space, um, but then also, use something that um, I can use from season to season. So I'm using this in the summer. I can also use it in spring and then also in the fall. And those are the three seasons that I'm usually out in this space. And so um, again, to unify the space, but also just to, um, to have something that I could use um, various seasons. And then over here in my dining area, I just added this black and white um, uh, outdoor rug that I had. I had this for a few years now. I had bought it off season at Walmart um, probably three or four years ago. And um, I bought the black and white um, since I have the black and white um, seat cushions all right guys so i am going to start harvesting here and then i'm going to come back and kind of show you my harvest um at the end all right so here is my harvest of beans and peas for the day so most of my peas as you can see they're they've dried out but i don't mind because i have plans to save those to plant next year so I'm already thinking next year, but also I've been harvesting my peas quite a bit and just getting them while they're nice and green and adding them to salads and so forth. So, um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of good use out of them um, and I have them for next year. My beans, same thing. Um, I, I think I've harvested my peas more than the beans. Um, but also I plan to use some of the beans and just dry them out and save them to plant next year as well. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to give you back um, the rest of your day. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to this video and looking at the progress of my kitchen slash uh, backyard garden. So take care, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.